Have you ever pondered upon the spiritual battles that rage within us and around us? And what role do angels play in these battles? Our daily lives we often overlook the spiritual battles that wage within us. These battles are not physical, but of the mind and spirit. They are the internal struggles we face, the choices we make, the thoughts we harbor, and the beliefs we hold. Now let's talk about angels. They are spiritual warriors, unseen but ever-present. They are the allies we often forget we have. They stand ready and waiting, prepared to fight these spiritual battles alongside us. Are the celestial soldiers in our personal spiritual warfare? These battles, though invisible to the naked eye, are of significant importance. They shape our character, mold our beliefs and direct our paths. Angels are our allies in these spiritual skirmishes, but how do we deploy them effectively? To deploy your angels you must first comprehend who they are and their divine purpose. From the ancient Greek, meaning messenger, are beings of extraordinary power and unparalleled beauty. They exist within the spiritual realm, a dimension that coexists with our physical reality yet remains unseen to the human eye. Their divine purpose is twofold to serve as intermediaries between the physical and spiritual realms, and to help guide us in our spiritual battles. These celestial beings are not just messengers of the divine, they are also warriors, armed with the strength and power of the divine spirit. Their spiritual power is immense, capable of influencing the world around us in ways we may not fully comprehend. They can provide us with guidance, protection and insight, helping us navigate through life's challenges and trials. Role of angels as intermediaries is critical in our spiritual journey. They bridge the gap between the physical and spiritual realms, providing a connection to the divine that would otherwise be unattainable. They serve as a conduit, channeling divine energy and wisdom to us and our world. This is not a role they take lightly. They are dedicated and committed to their mission, working tirelessly to fulfill their divine purpose. Their role in our spiritual battles is equally vital. They are not mere spectators in our struggles. They are active participants fighting alongside us, providing strength and courage when we need it most. They are our allies, our protectors and our guides helping us to face and overcome the spiritual battles that we encounter in our lives. Understanding angels is the first step towards deploying them in our spiritual battles. By acknowledging and understanding their divine purpose and powers, we can better engage their help and guidance. We can learn to connect with them, to draw on their strength and wisdom to seek their protection and guidance in our spiritual journey. Now that we understand angels, let's dive into how to deploy them in our spiritual battles. The first step in deploying your angels is intention. Now you may ask, why intention? And the answer is quite simple. Is the compass that guides your angels, much like a ship without a compass is lost at sea, an angel without clear intention is ineffective in the spiritual realm. Imagine your intentions as the whispers in the wind, directing your angels on their course. Whispers are your deepest desires, your hopes, your fears, and your dreams. Clearer and stronger your intentions, the more accurately your angels can navigate through the spiritual realm to fulfill them, of it as setting a destination in your spiritual GPS. Angels need precise coordinates to ensure they arrive at the correct location. This case, the location is your desired outcome. Remember, intentions come from the heart, not the mind. Intention set, we are ready to move on to the next step. The second step is invocation, calling upon your angels to assist you. Now invocation isn't some fancy term for a complicated process, it's as simple as speaking with a trusted friend. But here, your friend is an angel, a spiritual entity with immense power. Call upon your angels, you'll need to first find a quiet space where you can focus your thoughts. This could be anywhere, from a serene corner in your home to a peaceful spot in nature. Once you've found your space, close your eyes, a few deep breaths, allowing your mind to clear of any distractions. Now with a calm mind, envision your angels. Picture them in as much detail as you can. You don't need to have seen them before. Just imagine what they might look like. Remember this is your personal angel so they can look however you believe they should. Once you've got a clear image in your mind it's time to speak. Can say something like, I call upon you my angels to guide and protect me. Feel free to use your own words, important is that you speak with sincerity and conviction. Process of invocation relies heavily on faith and belief. You need to truly believe in the existence of your angels, and their ability to assist you. It's this belief that makes the connection strong and effective. Invocation brings us closer to our angels, setting the stage for the final step. The final step in deploying your angels is surrender. Now I can hear your thoughts, surrender? But isn't that giving up? From it my dear friends, 
Surrender in this context is not about admitting defeat but about acknowledging a power greater than our own. It is about letting go of our need to control and allowing the divine to take the reins. When we surrender, we give angels the permission to lead us in our spiritual battles. It's like a dance, where we let angels take the lead, guiding us through the steps and the rhythm of the music. Doesn't mean we become passive. On the contrary, surrender requires active trust, a leap of faith if you will. You're in a dense forest, lost, and without a map. Surrendering would be like trusting a seasoned guide to lead you out. You're still walking, you're still doing your part, but you're allowing the guide, the angels, to steer you in the right direction. Dear friends, our angels are seasoned warriors in these spiritual battles. They have the foresight, the wisdom, and the strength that we often lack. Surrendering, we're not showing weakness, but strength. We're showing trust in their abilities, their wisdom, their guidance. With surrender, we complete our deployment, allowing angels to guide us in our spiritual battles. Today, we've discovered the spiritual battles that rage within us and around us, and the role our angels play in these battles. Journeyed through understanding angels, and learned the three vital steps to deploy them effectively. Equipped with this knowledge, you're ready to take up the mantle, to engage and overcome in your spiritual battles. Just stand by, step into the fray. Now it's your turn to deploy your angels and engage in your spiritual battles. To subscribe to stay updated on more spiritual insights.